sizzling savings at Brookings Auto Mall. We've made a special purchase of 2016 Chevy Malibus. Eight to choose from starting at just $13,995. Details at BrookingsAutoMall.com. Brookings Auto Mall. What's in your driveway? An early morning fire chases residents out of their Sioux Falls apartment. We'll tell you where the fire happened and show you the effort to put out the flames. It's been a deadly weekend on Kelloland Roads. We'll have updates on a pair of fatal crashes, including one in Sioux Falls that involved three vehicles and the jaws of life. Good morning and welcome to Kelloland on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have an exciting list of boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. People on the west side of Sioux Falls were chased out of their apartment building by an early morning fire. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue responded to the apartment located on South Westbrook Lane, west of 41st and Marion, just after 2 o'clock this morning. Flames were coming from one of the apartment units when crews arrived. One of the residents has minor injuries. Many of the tenants had evacuated their units by the time firefighters arrived. People living on the second floor of the building where the fire started will not be able to return. To their apartments. We expect to learn more information in the coming days about a deadly weekend crash in Sioux Falls. A 20-year-old man died in Friday night's collision involving three vehicles at 26th Street and Minnesota Avenue. Police say the man was the driver of one of the vehicles and died at the scene. Three other people were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Investigators say they will release more information about the crash during Tuesday morning's briefing by Sioux Falls Police. Well, this was the second fatal crash of the night. Earlier, a 39-year-old man died in a rollover south of Madison, South Dakota, in Lake County. The Highway Patrol says the man lost control of his pickup on the slippery conditions on Highway 19 and was thrown from the vehicle. He died at the scene. Donald DeGroote is celebrating his first Sunday Mass as the new bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Sioux Falls. DeGroote was installed to his new post at St. Joseph Cathedral last week. He takes over from the now-retired Bishop Paul Swain. DeGroote grew up on a farm in Minnesota and came from a Twin Cities area parish before coming bishop. He'll share his goals of leading the faithful of eastern South Dakota tonight in High on Kelloland at 10. Let's get a check on your Sunday forecast now with meteorologist Grant Smith in the Storm Center. Good morning, Grant. Well, good morning, Perry, and good morning, Kelloland. We're starting the day off with some areas of uh, clouds, also areas of sunshine and areas of some snowfall in parts of the northeast and extreme southeast. So we kind of got a widespread of uh, weather here. Let's zoom in on the northeast here using our Huron radar. Yeah, we're seeing some of that light snow passing through, but snow machine is picking up on some pretty light snowfall amounts. Trace to one inch. That's kind of what we're looking at for that snowfall in the northeast. A little bit better chance to see some more snowfall, but it's going to be in the south. Speaking of the south, we are seeing some light snow there uh, on our uh, Baron or Beersford radar, but and yeah, snow machine picking up on less than a trace per hour snowfall rate. So pretty light snow there in the southeast. As far as the infrared satellite goes, uh, see that open area where we're not seeing any of the bright whites in central and southeast South Dakota. That's where we're seeing sunshine. But if we zoom out, all that white that you're seeing moving in from the west, that is cloud cover. So we're going to go with increasing clouds today as the frontal boundary sits right over the area. So increasing clouds, no real organized activity when it comes to precipitation, but we do have a chance for some rain and snow tonight into Monday and Tuesday. And then your seven day forecast looking very warm next weekend. We'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you very much, Grant. Well, the third Sunday archaeology series at Augustana University features bison kill sites in South Dakota. Archaeologist Michael Fosha's free presentation begins at 2 o'clock in the Froyland Science Complex, room 113A. Refreshments will be served. Great Bear Ski Valley is extending its hours for the President's Day holiday weekend. Great Bear is open for skiing, snowboarding, and tubing from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. today and Monday. Enjoy skiing and snowboarding in the northern Black Hills at Terry Peak. Lifts are open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Also today, you can register to win prizes, including a new snowboard. The lucky winner will be announced at 4.30 at the Stewart Lodge Bar. The Greater Midwest Toy Show features exhibitors displaying and selling antiques and collectible toys, trains, games, and models at the Sioux Falls Ramcota Exhibit Hour. Our exhibit Hall, the hours are from 9 to 3. The Stampede Hockey Team takes on the Omaha Lancers at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. Puck drops at 5.05. Tickets are available at the Kelloland Box Office. Films playing at the Wells Fargo Cynodome and the Washington Pavilion include Back from the Brink and Volcanoes. 
New movie releases playing at a theater near you include Sonic the Hedgehog, rated PG, The Photograph, and Fantasy Island, both rated PG-13, and Downhill, rated R. Grant? All right, one last look at your forecast here. You know, we've got this uh, warm sector coming into the region. That may actually play into a factor. The southeast, I've got to rain and snow in the forecast for late tonight. But as far as the early overnight hours to the evening, that's when the rain and snow can move into southwestern South Dakota, central and northern Kelowland, looking at more just a lot of cloud cover and some flurries kind of getting squeezed out of those clouds at most. The, bu the, the bulk of the evidence shows that the uh, most of the snow should fall in the southern counties. So as far as the overnight hours go, there you can see that rain and snow moving from west to east throughout the overnight, eventually arriving in the southeast late during the overnight or early tomorrow morning, kind of depending on how you want to phrase that. But either way, this is Monday at 8 a.m. Let's switch out and use a different computer model here, Futurecast. There's the rain and snow in the southeast, snow in the west. What I wanted to show is how the rain and snow in the southeast switches over to snow as the day goes on. So for those of you in southwest Minnesota, northwestern Iowa, you can be seeing that snowfall late in the day. Also, uh, southwest South Dakota also seeing that snow. Now, that's round one. That will come to an end Monday night. And as we go into Tuesday, we'll see uh, some snow passing in from the northwest. Now, during the day on Tuesday, central and western South Dakota has the best chance to see the snowfall passing through. Pretty light stuff is what we're looking at. And then once we get to Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, this will move to the southeast into southeastern Kelowna. And then this is Wednesday morning, still leftover snow in the area, but then it kicks out of here. So we're looking at mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. As far as the amounts of snowfall, uh, we've got a couple of areas of different types of snowfall what we're looking at. The southeast, uh, the bulk of the snow looks to fall in Minnesota and Iowa. But I think what's going to happen is we're going to have those heavy snow bands setting up with that thin area, 30 to 40 miles wide, seeing the most amount of snow. Still going about 1 to 2, 1 to 3 inches. Uh, so that's why the Sioux Falls and Yankton area, yeah, we're going to keep a close eye on that, see if that snow band sets up into South Dakota. But for now, the bulk of the snow falling in Minnesota and Iowa. But stay tuned to the latest. Western South Dakota, a little bit better chance, a lower, lower on that uncertainty is what we would say, uh, of seeing at least one inch of snow. But then we jump over to the three-inch snowfall amounts. Everything drops pretty close or pretty, uh, pretty uh, significantly. So one to three is going to be the most amount. But that's going to be mainly in the southwest. Official snowfall forecast through Wednesday there in the uh, south, in the west, in the most. Central, northern Kelowna, less than an inch. And then the southeast, because of that, uh, that snow banding that may set up, one to two for now in Worthington and Spencer, may need to adjust the Sioux Fall and Yankton areas. We'll keep an eye on that. Then your seven-day forecast, you're going to notice this. Cooler weather settles in for the middle of the week. Cold air settling in. Highs drop to the teens and 20 single digits above and below zero for overnight lows. But it's only going to last a day as that kicks out of here, bringing in warmer weather next weekend, 40s and 50s. Just a nice way to end the seven-day forecast. Today, 20s and 30s for much of the area. Warmer 40s in the west. Increasing clouds. And then tonight, can uh, clouds still sing, uh, sitting over us? Teens and 20s for overnight lows. And then tomorrow, I mean, right back up in the 20s and 30s. And then that, that uh, cooling trend continues into Tuesday and Wednesday. For Sioux Falls, highs only in the teens on Wednesday. But then we're moving right back up to the 30s. 40s pushing to 50 degrees next weekend with a lot of sunshine expected Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. For Aberdeen, a couple of chances for some flurries. Very light, light snow. 10 degrees for a high on Wednesday, though. Pretty cold, but then returning to near 40 degrees by next weekend. Central South Dakota, a couple of chances for light snow. Once again, less than an inch. Temperatures cooling down to 20 degrees, 22 on Wednesday, but then returning to the 50s just a couple of days later. Central or Western South Dakota, 30s on Monday and Tuesday. A high of 29 on Wednesday, but then the next day, 52, pushing 60 degrees by Saturday. A nice recovery there in Western South Dakota. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.